This is the Bosch PLR25. Uh, it's a laser distance meter with a 25 meter range. Now this is quite small. See it in my hand. It's a very compact little laser meter. It's a basic laser meter with simple functions, simple interface. Um, now I decided to do a quick review on it. I don't normally do these reviews, but um, I couldn't find anything online uh, in terms of um, how well this worked. So um, decided to do one for this this little PLR25. So um, yeah, what impressed me was was the accuracy and how easy and, and intuitive it was, really. Um, and and its uh, tolerance for different conditions. It's pretty impressive. Um, firstly, in terms of accuracy, we'll just set it up with the, against the basic ruler and see how it looks. Alright, check this one out. So this is lined up just against the side of the toolbox. Um, it's a 20 centimeter mark on the ruler. So push it once to start it. Push it again to take the measurement. 200 exactly to the millimeter. And it's not rounding, I'll move it uh, 3 millimeters. Measuring 202, I might be up by a millimetre there in my measurement. It's better than my accuracy anyway, by eye. So next I'll run through some of the functions. Um, there's an on button, push, so that's off. You don't even need to use it to turn it on. You can just push the uh, fire button, it's ready to go. Once to turn the laser on, and again to take a measurement. That's it. Okay, but you've got some options here. Um, you can change whether it measures from the uh, front of the instrument or from the back. So at the moment it's measuring with a nice little icon showing you measuring from this point. Push that button once. Now it's measuring from that point as being zero. Simple. Um, you've got a, a few different You've got three different things you can measure. Pushing this button to change the modes. Uh, the default one is measuring length. You can also measure area, uh, which is quite simple. So it shows you measuring a box. You're just measuring the length and the width. So if we go, okay, we've got a length, and then you turn it the other way, measure the width gives you the length, the width, and the area in square meters. Next mode is for volume. Again, pretty easy. You're taking the three dimensions of your cube and um, it'll calculate the, the volume as well as giving you those three measurements on screen. So I'll just put some numbers in there. To demonstrate that. Okay, there they are. Um, now what else have we got here? We've got a plus and a minus, so you can add measurements together. Oh, actually that's one more you can do. So this one, it's giving you a, a, a constant feed. Okay, so it's constantly uh, relaying the, the instantaneous distance, which will be handy in some applications, especially if you're trying to find the um, Closest or furthest point. Okay, we'll go back to length measurements. All right, and then you can take a measurement. Or you can add another measurement to it, and there you go. It gives you the sum. And likewise with the uh, subtract over here. Now this little function looks like a little uh, disk, so that's just showing the memory. So this is storing the last 10 um, values in memory. So you can see here, it's showing that this is the, uh, the sixth measurement. And you can just scroll back through now with the left and right arrow. And you see with, uh, you know, when we did the area, it's, um, it's showing those here, it gives all three as, as one saved value. So that's quite handy. Um, now in terms of clearing, the memory, um, there is a way in the manual 
It says if you hold these two at the same time, it'll wipe all of them. I found that quite difficult. Sometimes it cleared it, sometimes it didn't. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so I did manage to do it that time. Otherwise, if you're having any trouble, um, just go disk, go back through your measurements and push this, a short push on this button will clear the each value. One value, let's put a few in memory here. Okay, so now we've got those five measurements. I'll just go clear, it's one down, clear, another down, clear, another. So it's cleared the memory. So if you're wanting to take a fixed number of measurements of, of one thing, you don't want to mix them up before you write them down, um, it's handy to be able to delete the memory quickly. So you can move on to the next set. Now the other thing that impressed me was um, how well it copes with different angles. You know, ideally you're taking a measurement uh, 90 degrees to what you're looking at. See the lows are showing up there, take a measurement. And so ideally you wouldn't be going over here and taking a measurement at an angle. Because you can see it's, uh, it's a bit ambiguous exactly what point you're measuring, how far away. But it'll still do it. Okay, I'll still give the measurement, that's what impressed me. Um, so let's just try this. So if we measure, put it on this uh, 20 centimeter mark. Uh, we're measuring from the front and take a measurement there. Pretty close. All right. Actually, I haven't got that all the way hard up. Do it again. 200. So what if we uh, turn it on an angle? Now if I turn this quite sharp, it, it, you can see it becomes a little uh, exactly what you're measuring to is, is really the only problem. It's not a uh, concern in terms of whether it can take a reading. It just becomes a bit uncertain what point you're actually measuring. Some other features <coughs> worth pointing out. Um, it doesn't actually come with this lanyard. It just has a spot for the lanyard to attach. And I've put one on that I had lying around. Um, because it's such a small device, I, I, I think that's a pretty essential item. It does come, however, with this case, which it fits into quite nicely. And that has a little Velcro. You can put it on your belt or wherever else. So for some people, that'll be all you need. Um, I'll just turn this off. Okay, so it takes two AAA batteries. When you're putting the lanyard in, it's a little bit fiddly. Let's see if I can show you. Anyway, you have to sort of poke it through into the battery compartment and feed it back around through to get that in. A little bit fiddly, not too bad. Um, I've got here, um, made in Malaysia, is it? Seems reasonably sturdy. I'll see how it holds up. It's got a little bit of rubber, rubber along the sides, the bottom. Also a screen protector here at the front. So reasonably well protected, but overall uh, an impressive little tool for all sorts of different applications. Highly recommend it unless you need Bluetooth or, or um, the more advanced functions or greater distances. This will, uh, this will work for a lot of people I think.